Sorry, my computer ended <laughs> in mid-session, but I think it was kind of serendipitous because it was right on a cliffhanger. You were like, De Beers, tell me more, Mr. Hakes, tell me more. Well, De Beers is like the diamond. Like they own 90% of all the diamond mines. So as a result, they can do this thing economically where they artificially increase their value by not putting any of it on the market. So like, it's crazy. Like we can get in the finance and the economics of it. Cause you know, you know me, you know, I love that stuff. But basically what they, what they do is they can not put any diamonds on the market and make them more, make people perceive them as more valuable than they actually are. So when they're like diamonds are like super expensive, no, they're super common compared to like sapphires and emeralds, but people think they are because the beers, the beers did that. Why does that matter? Mr. Hicks, like, why'd you even bring that up? Well, the beers is the beers is a Dutch name. <gasps> what? It's crazy, right? Yeah. So originally Dutch. Isn't that insane? I'm glad that you think so. Anyway, South Africa, let's get back to it. In Almost 1880, 1879, Zulus. So Zulus are uh, like an ethnic cultural group down in South Africa. Uh, they are fighting against the British, right? They do not want to be under British reign. They don't want to be under that. Um, and they were extremely disadvantaged, like only spears and shields. But they nearly won. And, that, and at the last little battle there, that's when they lost. And, and unfortunately... Um, became under the British uh, rule. And remember what I said, the sun never set on the British empire because literally Britain owned land everywhere or with, or had rule everywhere, right? Like at, at one point they had it in North America, the US of A, uh, Canada, um, Australia, places in China, like Hong Kong, Africa, India, islands dotted throughout all the seas, like, Britain did a, a great job of gaining lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of land at the detriment of lots and 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 lots of people. Okay. So um, now, now you have British, the Dutch and South Africans fighting over the land. Um, the Dutch are fighting um, guerrilla tactics. And what like guerrilla is, is not like 1v1. So it's like, Kelly, how would I explain guerrilla tactics? Guerrilla warfare, yeah. ambushing. Yeah, thank you. Like a bunch of ambushing and, and not not like standing and like being like being able to point and be like, yeah, that's where they're at. We know they're over there, but they're entrenched. Like it's hiding, it's attacking and then running away, like attacking and then like drifting into the forest or or leaving. So it's you don't really know where it's coming from. Um, and they would do that most like most people that do guerrilla tactics have to do it because if they were to fight a regular war, they wouldn't even have a shot. So you have to change your tactics. Um, a good example of that is in, in U.S. history is during the Vietnam War. Uh, Y'all won't get that this year, um, but you'll get that next year. That's a very interesting case. I think Korea, I think Korea did too, but I definitely know Vietnam was. Um, well, the British burned all their farms and prison children in like concentration camps and 14,000 died. Uh, Britain eventually won. So it's, I mean, it's pretty nasty. And they're doing like Europeans are doing this to Europeans in a way. So when we, when you look at this, like this entire time frame in, in Africa is awful. It is a grab for as much land as you can to exploit as many resources as you can in order for your home country, your home base uh, to be more powerful and more consolidated, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah. So that, th there we go. That's it. So sorry again that the video like paused halfway through, but um, there you go. So that's like the scramble for Africa that has huge implications, okay? huge implications. Um, that we'll get into continuing through more imperialism. We'll talk about more case studies like India. We'll talk about China um, and we'll just continue that on. So if you do have any questions, um, you have that survey, please, 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 please fill it out. Um, that way I can help answer questions that you have. So with that, peace out. Have